Okay guys, hello, welcome back to the Land Rover Toolbox videos. Once again, we're on the whiteboard. Yeah. So this is the 300 TDI EDC system, all right? It's plumbed up near enough the same way as the original 300 TDI engine. However, this has got an electronic uh, control module on it. And this is where things start to change quite drastically. With the fuel uh, injection pump, it's electronically controlled. You don't have a boost module on the top here, you have a, a, an ECU type thing, all right? These pumps do go wrong. Solenoid uh, valves go wrong in, down here at the bottom, which is the timing. Um, you also, there's a ribbon which uh, is connected between the ECU and the pump, and that can go wrong as well. Ford Transits, Vauxhalls uh, of a certain age, they all have pumps like this and they're a pain in the ass. These is probably one of the most unreliable EDC type systems you could get. This is why I avoid it. I don't want to know about this stuff, but what I'll do is tell you about it and then we'll run away and forget about it, yeah? Um, some of you guys, what you do is you get the uh, EDC engines and then you turn them into uh, conventional 300 TDIs. It's possible to do. Um, fuel pump off and injectors, number four injector has a uh, electrical uh, connector to it right which goes to the ECM but what you've got to be aware um, top pressure on this is on these injectors for the EDC are 300 atmospheres whereas the original uh, 300 TDI is 280 atmospheres there is a difference in pressure it could cause you problems if there's not enough pressure lifting the needle off the seat it could run like a bag of shit yeah so just remember that I'm sure some people have had problems others haven't um, the, the FIPs for the 300 TDI uh, run at a slightly lower pressure than what these ones do for the uh, EDC models. Right, so what we're going to start with is the fact it's got a brain. This one here. Not this one, this one. Which is the electronic control module and that's exactly what it does. It takes information in and then it, and it then controls fuel metering. Okay, so what you have um, and what you know about this is it has number four uh, a sensor or number four injector which goes to the ECM. Now this um, senses the pulse of the uh, when it's injecting and then it can adjust the timing um, to keep it optimal. There's an extra few BHP you get with this engine. All right, so you have a mass flow, a mass airflow meter information goes to the ECM and then it will work out the strategies for fueling okay airflow in um, fueling yeah this will work out it's already mapped okay um, throttle position sensor which is electronic um, actually I'll have to explain the, the TPS uh, uh, in a different video because it's, it's, it's interesting uh, basically the information is going to the ECM it's then going out to the fuel injection pump to control it yeah okay what it needs to do it needs to know um, what position the engine is in and how fast it's going how fast it's rotating you do this with a, a crank position sensor okay or CPK or CKP or whatever it's called um, information again goes to the uh, ECU or the ECM okay uh, boost control ECM vehicle a speed sensor as well it wants to know how fast the vehicle is actually going so it needs a, a, a vehicle speed sensor as well okay it also monitors fuel temperature air temperature coming in yeah and water temperature the reason for this is it adjusts for fuel quality and what I mean by that is that when fuel gets warmer it changes viscosity so it it wants to know um, it's optimal um, usage by adjusting this pump depending on the quality of the fuel. This is where you get your power from. All right, remember this is pre-common rail. All right, right. So um, you also have clutch and brake. Um, I don't know if you can see them down there. You have cr cr crutch. You have clutch and brake um, sensors. And this will actually adjust the RPM depending on whether you're braking or changing gear. All right, yeah, so it needs to know that information. Um, the other pain in the backside is the EGR. 
Oh, uh, basically, it takes vacuum um, from the air box. Okay, that's down here. It takes vacuum from the air box, and it also has information from the turbo. Okay, now basically, <coughs> that is probably about it, isn't it? Um, with the pump control, okay, the pump is plumbed up just the same as uh, the 300 TDI. You have uh, you have fuel in, you have fuel out. The engine, the pump's timed to the engine, yeah, and then it pumps to the injectors. Okay, now what does the timing and uh, the fuel control is the ECM so you have all the information going into the ECM and then it's controlling what the fuel injection pump does you have a timing device here and at the top here okay you also have your solenoid here which will fuel cut off okay so um, that's that's fairly standard up to a point yeah so that's probably about it I mean what can I tell you about this this is sort of like a bit of an obsolete system it's a bit like the TD5 um, PD engines they used them for a little while and then they went further on to common rail now common rail is uh, the most important at the moment so this system here there are not too many of these EDC uh, uh, Land Rovers about but what you've got to understand is that everything that um, everything that this engine uh, does is information into ECM control out to the pump okay yeah so are you happy with that is that enough information yeah good okay then. see you later